What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're going to be trying to rip out the transmission tunnel in our donor car and transfer it over to our E91. Now, a lot of you guys just said, Nord, just make a custom bracket. I mean, no one's really going to look down there. And as long as you make a custom bracket, it's probably going to be even safer if you don't know what you're doing. The thing is, I got a little bit of training when my boy VTune came over and uh, he showed me pretty much a lot. Of, I mean, I'm not a professional. I literally just watched him do it. I'm I'm literally just the beginner, but I, I know the kind of like the basics now to removing like the metal and getting it re-welded onto the new car. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, just so we don't mess up anything, before we actually touch the E91 wagon, we're gonna go ahead and try to remove that piece and see if we can remove it in really good shape off the E90 M3. And if we can actually get it off that shell and it's a perfectly good piece, then we're gonna go over to our E91, remove that exact same part, weld on the rear-wheel drive portion instead of the all-wheel drive portion, and then everything's great in the Navy. If we try removing it off of the E90 M3 and it ends up being a complete fail, then uh, we're gonna have to try to fabricate ourselves a bracket. But end of the day, guys, I'm really hoping to use the OEM rear-wheel drive transmission tunnel. I just think it's gonna look like more of an OEM plus look. And that's just what I'm aiming for for this build. So without further ado, let me go ahead and take you guys outside and let's start getting to work on this bad boy. Thank the Lord, guys, by the way, the weather is so much nicer. So for those of you guys who didn't see the last video, pretty much what we got out is the engine and transmission, the whole front uh, engine assembly. We went ahead and also stripped out some things over over here getting it ready to move on to our new car but then I realized when I was trying to put in all the heat shielding and everything that the transmission tunnel in the front section is different so we need to go ahead and work on that first before we can start taking some more things off transferring it over to our wagon and then uh, eventually honestly put in this whole assembly which would be super cool into the wagon but guys before we actually get into the video I do want to say that today's video is sponsored by Simply Carbon Fiber you guys know Simply Carbon Fiber is a company that I absolutely love and it's a company that I've been using uh, their products for for a minute now because you guys know uh, as a car enthusiast um, the only thing we really spend our money on is car parts But but when you guys can actually have a nice carbon fiber products on yourselves as well It's kind of like you're modifying something that's not your car, but it's just as cool So one of the most recent releases guys is this forged carbon fiber wallet You can go ahead and put all your cards in it holds a bunch of cards and on the back over we actually have some cash Yes, I'm actually balling out for a minute there That's a $50 bill and it's not really normally there because I'm I'm spending all my money on my cars But I have one sitting right here, which is super nice. It holds a lot of things for a little minimalistic wall and they have this in carbon fiber and forged carbon fiber which is this bad boy right over here. I also have their forged carbon fiber watch. They have a lot of other forged carbon fiber accessories, carbon fiber accessories, a bunch of little goodies. Make sure you check out their links down below and make sure to use my code but without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into the video. So all that being said guys, if I show you guys the transmission tunnel on the wagon, the wagon has this indentation right over here. This is the problem that we're going to be having because the transmission bracket's going to mount on this side but on this side it's going to have this huge hole. So what we need to actually do is go ahead and pretty much remove all these spot welds right over here that's around that area and then cut that piece off from the bottom remove this seam sealer and just try to get this piece off as you guys can see it is a separate piece and if we can theoretically get this piece off we can literally just transfer it over get it welded and we'll have a perfect OEM transmission bracket from the factory so here is the E91 and like I said earlier guys we had an indentation right over here on this car it is completely flat so it's actually gonna be a lot easier to to remove this section. I'm gonna try to go as far back as we possibly can on this piece, just so we have extra on the piece that we're using, because it's better to have extra than be a little too short and then not actually have the proper mounting brackets. If you guys look over here, those are the two holes that the transmission bracket pretty much sits on. So if we go off to this side, we can see that these are the two holes as well. So as long as we get these two holes, that's all we pretty much need. But again, instead of actually getting right above it, we're gonna try to move down just a little bit further so we can get a better cut. We're gonna have to actually remove the shielding as well we'll do that as well. Let's go ahead and see if we can actually remove these spot welds quite easily. All right, guys, now after grinding all of these spot welds right over here, um, now we can actually see every single one. And this will also give us more of a, a contact point when we actually get this all welded. Um, we also got this entire section right over here as well. We do need to actually move this metal out of the way and then actually put it back on when we weld it. Um, but that would actually give us kind of like a guidance to where we're gonna put this thing, this piece back on. Um, again, I'm really, really, really hoping that this entire piece, even behind this, because you guys can see uh, the threads actually go into there, which means they're very, very, very tough threads to hold the transmission. So I'm hoping it's thick enough behind this sheet of metal and we don't have to remove another piece, but if we have to, we will. So without further ado, you guys, at this point, I'm actually gonna do like a single cut right back here. And then we're gonna actually start drilling out all these spot welds. Mm -hmm. 
And guys, after about maybe eight hours of going to the store back and forth, back and forth, I'm trying to throw in a clip right now, but I actually tried getting a full air compressor um, like <laughs> set up to get this thing off of the car. I actually put much on air compressors. I went down to Walmart, picked up these tough drill bits that cost me $45. The air compressor setup cost me $100. But something that actually ended up working so, so, so good, and it was very cheap, was this drill bit right over here from Harbor Freight. This drill bit right over here is a spot weld drill bit. This thing is literally made to drill out spot welds. And as you guys can see, it's perfect holes. <laughs> it looks so, so, so good. And this drill bit only cost me $5. Now this one actually drilled quite a bit of holes, but I can already see the wear and tear on this drill bit. I saw another brand that was like $50 that they say that, that supposedly lasts like 10 times longer. Um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and stick with these ones for this process, mainly because you guys can see how straight that is. I didn't bend this thing whatsoever it came out absolutely perfect so i'm super happy about it i think the only bend um was right back over here um we can just hammer that back so you actually get it on the car but literally the rest of it guys you guys didn't even see all the oem indentations we still have all the screw holes this is actually where the transmission bracket is supposed to mount to so super happy after about eight hours we finally figured out what is the best way to remove this guy and it's this bad boy right over here. Of course, we had to use this thing as well. I forgot, I have a serious brain fart. This is like a little press pin or whatever. I forgot what it's called. And then a chisel as well. And that's pretty much everything. Like just these tools right here, less than maybe like, I would honestly say 30 bucks worth of things. Anywho's, now that we got this piece off of the car, this bad boy is gonna be sitting right over here. So yeah, that's gonna be an OEM finish. Let me go ahead and just mock this up and double make sure that we actually have the right cutout for this. <laughs> I'm smiling so much right now. I cut this out perfectly and it looks amazing. And a lot of people tell me to go with an aftermarket bracket. You just make a custom bracket, but how sick would it be? So far we're 50% complete, but how sick would it be to actually have an OEM bracket? I would be so sick. That'd be literally like an OEM transmission tunnel. Obviously there's gonna be welds and stuff like that down there, but honestly with all these weather shieldings on there and uh, the heat shields, you're honestly never gonna even see it. Um, and that's the beauty of it. So when we actually bolt on the transmission, it's gonna go into factory holes and you're never actually gonna see the weld marks. Unlike if you actually made a bracket, when you look underneath the car, even though everything else is covered, you're still gonna have a bracket that's showing that, again, for me, as someone that's trying to perfect this as much as I can, I, I'm not gonna say anything else because honestly, if I can't get this on the car, um, then I just proved myself wrong. So I'm gonna try to prove myself right, guys. I'm, I'm gonna hold myself to it. And guys, welcome back to the next day. So we're actually sitting right over here with the plate that we actually removed. This is a full piece, like I said earlier, that we are officially transferring over to the E91. I went ahead and also stopped by Harbor Freight this morning just to get another one of these because it worked so well yesterday. We already have one on our drill right here. We have our pilot drill bits. Let's go ahead and try to remove it as cleanly as possible on the E91. This is the progress guys that we have made. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't know. Like this has been taking so much time. If I go ahead and bring my chisel right over here, you guys can see that it's separated very, very, very nicely. This tool works really, really, really well. But the only thing is it takes so long to do. So I pretty much got all of this stuff done all up over here. Uh, we still have all of these. It's probably another 10 right here, another two right here. And then you probably have another 20 down here. Um, I already broke one of them. Basically each tip lets you use it on either side. So I already broke uh, pretty much three sides. So I have one side left. So, and when this thing breaks, I pretty much will be out of luck for today. I did order a full pack on Amazon because I think I had like a 20 pack on Amazon is like $20 and Harbor Freight sells like a single one for $5. It's the exact same quality too. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and wait for the next package tomorrow. I'm gonna try to get as much
much more done today um, before this one breaks. But yeah, I wish me luck, guys. So far, so good. I'm pretty happy with the results. I accidentally drilled through on this one, and I believe one down here. Um, we can go ahead and just weld that shut. It's not going to be too big of a deal. Um, but for the most part, we're doing a pretty good job by not actually going through both pieces. And there you go, guys. I finally broke the last bit. But honestly, the last bit lasted a very long time. We went ahead and completed this entire top section. Literally every piece on the top right here, which is the majority of them, have been completed. Um, we only have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine nine more left we went ahead and completed all of these as well on the bottom over here so honestly we don't have much to do hopefully tomorrow hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to actually drill out the rest of these and then this whole piece should come down we could test fit our other one uh make sure you have the transmission bracket on here just kind of do some test fitting and then do some like uh do some guide welds and whatnot and hopefully guys hopefully we're gonna be hopefully getting this thing mounted by tomorrow and that's the reason why this video is being delayed so long is because it's taking me a lot of time and i'm waiting on some new bits that are coming tomorrow so hopefully Hopefully, hopefully, this transmission tunnel job will take us no longer than three days, which I think is pretty impressive, at least for myself. Let me know down below, guys. I'm literally lying down next to a bunch of little metal fragments around me, which is probably not the best thing in the world. I'm gonna go ahead and just clean myself up before I head inside. It's a good thing I have some safety glasses because imagine those metal flakes getting inside your eyes. It would absolutely be so, like, super painful. Oh, my arms are physically exhausted. My back, my neck, everything's physically exhausted by pushing so much pressure and trying to put my whole body up this entire time. But, uh, guys, I can just picture myself driving this car when the time comes. So it is definitely worth it. <laughs> Without further ado, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It is September 15th, and your boy finally has the right tools to take off the frame on the E91. Now I'd be lying to you guys if I said I wasn't stressed, but I'm hoping to God once we take this off, nothing actually buckles up. I mean, obviously we have the actual frame of the car, but I, I am a little bit afraid of the supporting pieces before we actually get the new pieces welded on. But instead of just sitting here and worrying about things that can possibly go wrong, let's just go ahead and attempt to get this piece off today. Cause if we get this piece off guys, that is literally 90% of the battle. And then we just have to figure out a way to get it welded on there. Probably put on the bracket do some test fitting and it'll be absolutely perfect so without further ado guys we have a few more holes that we need to rip it out and then we should be good to go Alright guys, and after hours of cutting and chiseling, you guys can see that I have one little piece right here. So this section left, I got the top piece off and the entire section. We had the bottom section off. We cut it in multiple pieces, mainly because I didn't really want to put any dents into this guy, because if I keep chiseling, I put one dent right there. It's not a big deal to have one, but if you have many, that's going to definitely affect something. So we are going to be sanding all this stuff down, but in the meantime, let's just go ahead and take out this last bracket piece so we can test fit ours and make sure that we are all gravy in the Navy. And guys, after after countless hours and days of just working on this car. I mean, I'm pretty dang happy with the results. I pretty much just have to grind off all these, which I'm probably gonna do in a little bit. And then I have to just weld up like the little holes that I messed up on, not a big deal. Um, maybe just weld these two metals together as well, just to keep that like all together. And then actually grabbing our piece to test fit. You guys can check out how easily that goes on. And literally that's how it's supposed to be. Like the fitment is absolutely insane. Um, and the all wheel drive bracket actually goes so much more further. Um, this section right over here, if you press up against it, you guys can see that that's where it's supposed to get welded. Right there, right there, right there. Um, so before we actually get anything welded, before we get anything honestly test fitted, um, I guess the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is just grind off all these things and sand down this entire section so the weld gets like a really, really, really good contact point. So without further ado, um, you guys are seeing it, uh, you know, just like all ugly and stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and get it all sanded and ready for weld.
We are officially ready to start welding on this bracket. I'm pretty excited for it. I do want to actually check the level of the bracket to make sure everything is gravy and maybe we're actually getting everything welded in place. But yeah, I'm hoping you guys were able to see it when I set you guys over there, the angle of this bracket when it was on there. Honestly, it was so, so, so perfect. I'm super happy with the results. I went ahead and actually scuffed this up some more um, just to make sure that the welds actually get on there perfectly. Um, Once we actually weld up this side completely, I'm actually going to go from the inside of the car and weld up any holes that I accidentally went through on. But before I actually put that bracket back on as well because we're not going to be using any of these holes i'm actually just going to put some extra welds around here just to support these areas just for like an extra precaution i want to make sure this is as sturdy as possible and with these extra scrap metals i'm actually going to practice my welds on this little section right over here that i already sanded down just to make sure i got my welds on point and then we're going to go ahead and apply that knowledge on this bad boy and guys if we can get that bracket on there i'm going to be so happy that's the reason why this video is taking like so long to actually upload because i want to get this all done in this one video it looks like a simple part but to get it off that car and to get one off this car then to actually weld it on this car and get it all prepped up guys that takes a lot of time if we can get all this stuff done in this one video make sure to smash that like button guys it helps more than you guys know uploading every single day is definitely better for me in terms of revenue but uploading once a week quality content is definitely something that's better for you guys you can just see all the content in one video and by liking this video at least more people will see this video so i truly appreciate it so without further ado let me go ahead and set you guys down and get the welder ready All right, guys, as you guys can see, I have the worst weld in the world. The good news is it's on there. It is so sturdy. I literally put my whole body weight on it, pushing down when I had the bar on there. Um, So this thing ain't coming off. I can guarantee that. So this thing is rock solid. Now, at this point, guys, this is a transmission tunnel. Not many people is going to see this, but... I know it's here and I know that it, it have <laughs> the worst weld in the world. Now the good news is this is a MIG welder so I pretty much tacked each end and I got it to where each corner is welded onto the chassis. Um, so I do have a lot of extra welds just to make sure everything's gravy in the Navy. Um, again, I need to probably go take a welding class but for the most part, it's on there, it's sturdy. I do need to make a plate back there later but for now, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up all of this. I'll clean up all these welds, grind it all down and then I'm actually gonna put a little bit of filler and then we're gonna primer the entire thing so it's gonna be complete and it's gonna look awesome. So yeah, I'll come back to you guys when all that is done. And welcome back guys to day five. Literally this, this video has been literally I believe five days. I was just trying to get this transmission tunnel 100% perfect. We have the thing welded in there, but we need to add a little bit of filler to make it look super clean. It is gonna get all covered up by literally all the splash shields and weather guarding and everything. You're honestly not even gonna see that section, but I'm gonna know that that wasn't perfected unless we perfect it. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do today. Yesterday we cut out two brackets that we're gonna weld on for support. And then we're gonna be using a little bit of filler just to fill up all those weld holes to make them look a lot cleaner. And then we're gonna go ahead and just throw some primer on there. It just just make it look perfect. Let's weld on our new bracket, boys. We're getting close to the finished product, guys. Next step, some cavity wax. All right, guys, it's looking pretty dang good. Let's just go ahead and seal it up real quick before we actually throw on that primer and then we can finally see the finished results. This has been like a week coming. And finally, guys, the finishing touch, some etching primer, and then this transmission tunnel is officially complete. That is so satisfying. And guys, just like that, <laughs> Look at our brackets. Look at our seam sealer. Now, this does look a little bit messy. When I say a little bit, I mean, <laughs> I mean, pretty dang messy. With the seam sealer, um, the brush I used didn't end up looking so good. So it kind of made a mess. But I'm also happy to say, guys, this is officially a rear wheel drive E91. I mean, this thing is so sturdy. I literally put my whole body weight on that thing. And that's before I actually put the two supporting brackets in the back. So now that the two supporting brackets are in the back, I can guarantee you guys that this is a perfect job. And I am so, so, so happy. Not gonna lie, guys, after five days of work, 
working on this non-stop it was getting very stressful but finally guys we finally got everything dialed in looking absolutely perfect and hopefully in the next video guys we can start actually assembling all the engine pieces to this engine base so we can hopefully get the engine in here as soon as possible if you guys are enjoying this build series make sure to smash the like button if you guys can recognize how much work this is taking make sure to smash the like button because this in one video kind of looks like hey no you got this done in one video that was super easy but in in the real world it took me actually a full week of literally working about eight hours a day on this transmission tunnel and the other transmission tunnel just getting everything off and on and making sure not to damage the transmission tunnel at the same time because it's very fragile and i damaged it on the e90 i had to be very 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 delicate on the e91 to make sure that it came off and on perfectly and i'm happy to say that everything went on literally perfectly other than the fact that the seam sealer um got really messy and sloppy but anyways that is gonna have to conclude the video if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to smash that like button but without further ado guys um i'm gonna go take a shower another shower because i just took one but i have to take another one now go sell a car behind the scenes to help fund this thing <laughs> and i'll see you guys in the next one so i love y'all so much remember to stay humble i'll see you on the next one peace out